Just before we head into the video, I'd love to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is the best way to buy any items or credits on any platform and at the cheapest prices so that you can build your dream setup. Go and check them out using the link in the description and use code TXC to get yourself 3% off your order. This is episode 70 of trading from a rare drop all the way up to the alpha cap and right now the inventory is almost worth 160,000 credits. Before we get into the trades, I'd like to mention I'm giving away a white octane every 1,000 subscribers on the channel and all you have to do is drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications and finally join my Discord server using the link in the description down below and I might even give away the alpha cap that I get from this series so subscribe because you don't want to miss that and let's get straight into the first trade of the video. Okay, so we're going to be heading into the first trade of the video. This is how the post is looking to be fair, not some bad items. We do have some cheap black markets which in theory might be quite hard to sell but we'll see how it goes in the first trade. I'm going to be doing a genuine really, really good trade. We're going to be buying both a Sky Blue Airstrike and a Black OEM. Now, Sky Blue Airstrike didn't actually know this when I bought it, but it is incredibly easy to sell. Going to be picking it up for, I believe, 1.8k, so 500 credits below the minimum value, I believe, and then Black OEM, 850. So, yeah, paying 2,650 for both of these items. They're valued at, what, 3.4k, so there's a lot of profit to be made there. I'll just have to sell both of those items for the minimum value. And as I've already mentioned, yeah, the Sky Blue Airstrike has a very high demand. Black OEM, not so much. That'll be a little bit harder to sell, but I should be able to make a ton of profit still. I always, uh, I'm always able to sell my Black OEMs for their minimum value, so hopefully I'll be able to do it again. And yeah, the profit will be insane, because I buy Black OEM for 850, flip it for 1.1k. That is 250 credits profit every time I get a Black OEM. And all my days, Sky Blue Air Strike is already gone out of the inventory. 2.3 thousand credits, not bad at all. I'll take that. That is 500 credits profit, and I didn't have to do anything. I'll let you in on a little bit of a secret here. I listed it up and uh, didn't trade for about three days. I got about 10 people trying to buy it off me. Um, okay, why is that? Uh, I can't get any interest in any of my other items, but Sky Blue Air Strike, everybody wants it. No idea why. Not complaining because it was out of my inventory, but hopefully, yeah, I'll get uh, some interest like that with some of my other items. I'm going to be selling a Saffron Fennec and two White Zombas in the same trade here, which is perfect. Selling three items in the same trade. That will save me so much time. I am going to be getting the minimum value for all of these items and it is going to be high demand items so they're not hard to sell anyway but regardless of how many items I actually have if I'm selling more than one item in the same trade it will save me time so there we go this is how the post is currently looking as well freed up a little bit of space I did say in the last episode I want to start selling some items because the crimson jawling dragons especially was annoying me and look all my days we're selling it in this trade this is so perfect because yeah I've had this for ages and I'm finally getting rid of it I had two crimson jawling dragons at one point so one of them like five or so episodes ago we're finally able to sell the other one so yeah this is gonna be so good we are getting 2.3k as well as you just saw on the spreadsheet it's a little bit up and down at the moment so i'm glad that i did get rid of it and i'm gonna be completely honest i am not buying a crimson jewel and dragons again unless i can underpay by probably at least 500 credits because that was genuinely not worth my time the profit was not enough because i had it for weeks I, I, i'm not sure how long i've had it if any of you guys know what episode i bought it in let me know comment it down below because yeah i've had it for a very, very long time. But already after selling just a few items, you can see how good the inventory looks already. Yeah, we still have a few high, uh, a few low demand items rather, such as that Sky Blue Cut. Uh, the Sky Blue Cut, I literally cannot speak today. The Saffron Carbonator and the Forest Green Hextide. But to be fair, they really haven't been around for long whatsoever. So I'm not too bothered about them. I did also sell on a Crimson Standard. We can't update the post because I did have multiple. I really want to start getting rid of the Black Standards as well. Because yeah, we've got a duplicate of them. And it's not looking too great because black, stand, uh, black Standard going up and down on the spreadsheet at the moment. Yeah, it's not easy to sell as well at the moment, which is a little bit weird. I thought it would be, but unfortunately, it is not. I'm going to be buying a Lime Sparkles. Again, a fairly low demand item, but I'm paying just 1.6k on the spreadsheet, as you just saw. 1.9k. So, underpaying by 300 credits. Not bad at all. I should be able to find at least that minimum value of 1.9k. I might be a little bit cheeky and try and get 2k, but for now, we'll just try and list it for 1.9k. See how that goes. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it. And yeah, that is 300 credits profit. And Lime Sparkles genuinely isn't even hard to sell. So, that is literally perfect. Going to be selling on the other Crimson Standard here. Now, to be fair, this was genuinely really 
easy to sell. I tried to sell it uh, a few days ago when I first got it, but nobody was interested. Waited a few days, traded at an agile good time. So in the evening, uh, I believe this was around 5 p.m. UK time, which is when quite a few people are on, to be fair. And I was actually able to get a lot of trades. So I'm going to try and pick better times to trade because, yeah, other times I was trading like midday and I was getting absolutely nothing. So I need to be a little bit smarter about when I'm actually trading and this should allow me to get a little bit more profit. But oh my days, green fire coming in absolute clutch, buying not one, but two black standards and a, uh, and a lime sparkles as well, all for the minimum value. This is going to be perfect. Massive shout out to the green fire if he is watching this video. But yeah, this was so helpful getting rid of three items. Now I'm just able to go back to buying items with credits. And yeah, the profit I got from these items was insane. I believe I'm getting 100 credits from each of the standards and then 300 from the sparkles. So alone, that got me 500 credits profit. And this is genuinely the most clear my inventory has been in probably about 20 episodes. The Crimson Jewel in Dragons has finally gone. That honestly felt so good when it went out of my inventory. But yeah, most of these items or pretty much all of these items we haven't had for more than a few episodes. So I'm feeling good. Now, to be fair, I know uh, I've got around 100,000 credits before I can actually get the alpha cap. But... I, I don't like seeing uh, items stuck in my inventory. I know they'll eventually go, but when I've got an item that's stuck in my inventory for over a week, it does start to annoy me because, yeah, it, it just makes me feel like I'll never be able to sell it. I have also just bought a white fennec, by the way. Now, white fennec, so good for making profit. The demand is so high on this item. If you're able to buy it for anything below that minimum value, you're basically guaranteed to make profit. And, yeah, you can just see how, uh, how high the demand actually is because I bought it, and then two minutes later, I'm selling it on for, I believe, 1.4k, so there's only 100 credits profit, which to be fair, isn't a lot compared to some other items where I'm making, for example, 300 credits profit on that Lime Sparkles, but the Lime Sparkles did take me, in fairness, about an hour to sell, which to be fair, isn't even that bad, but just, uh, let's just put it into perspective, White Fennec gone in about two minutes, that is 100 credits profit. If I repeat that all day, I'll be able to get thousands of credits profit. The only problem is that not too many people actually quick sell Fennex to me, because obviously they're so easy to sell, they just sell them on for the minimum value, but I do get the account occasional person who quick sells me a white fennec which is so good for me saffron fennec as well yeah that was pretty decent to make profit on a little bit hard to sell but as you saw earlier i was able to sell it not too uh not too badly is that does that make sense i don't know but we are going to be selling on a saffron carbonator and a streamline in this trade for 1.3k as you just saw on the spreadsheet saffron carbonator right now is 1.3k streamline is a, is 100 credit so i i slightly quick sold it but realistically the saffron carbonator is extremely hard to sell or at least i think it's extremely hard to sell because I got uh, one offer. I literally, that was my first offer. I took it because I thought, you know what, it might take hours before I get another offer and they'll probably be underpaying by loads. So yeah, I took it. We're going to move on. And as you can see right now in my inventory, I have a Forest Green Hex type Black OEM and Voxel. Realistically, none of those are going to be selling anytime soon. So I will be buying a Black Zomba into my inventory. 100 credits below that minimum value. I think right now, 800 to 900 or 800 to 1k. The price just pops up on the screen for you guys. So yeah, you know how much it's worth. I'm going to be trying to sell it on for 800 credits. Realistically, I probably should wait a bit uh, and then it might go up and I can get the minimum value, but I'm really not patient, which is a little bit of a downside to my trading, but I am going to be selling on a Voxel for 100 credits. To be fair, yeah, it is a fairly basic trade. However, it's got to be done and I'm going to be getting it gone for 100 credits. So it's not a lot, but it will definitely help my credit count out. And if I keep doing trades like this, I believe uh, I got this as an ad. So yeah, if I keep on getting ads like this, it will definitely help me out. And yeah, I'm not going to say no to another 100 credits. And I know I've said it already, but I'm genuinely surprised how easily I was actually able to clear out my inventory. The Crimson Jewel in Dragons genuinely wasn't that hard to sell once I focused on it. Uh, Forest Green Hextob has still got that, but I've only had it recently, so I'm not too bothered about that. The Black OEM as well, they always eventually sell, so I should be able to get 1.1k for that uh, in some time. And yeah, I'm going to be selling on a Black Zomba here. Literally just got it, but it's such a high demand item that I'm going to be selling it already. Getting 800 credits, as I said, I, I probably should have waited a little bit longer. Might have been able to get 900 either way. Still 100 credits profit so I can't really complain and yeah we've only got two items left to sell. Hopefully I'll be able to clear those out in the next episode but to be fair I don't really need to. I can just buy a ton more items because the inventory is looking so good. Here's the post. Only two items. We haven't seen that in a very long time but thank you for watching. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.